Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to talk to you guys about my monthly favorites for September. Now I didn't do a monthly favorites in August. I don't know why I was in such a funk when it came to filming my favorites videos. I just, I felt like all the products that I was using were products that I've talked about before. Moving on to makeup, I'm going to start off with this product from Makeup Atelier. This is one of their new concealers, or I believe it's new. This is the shade Apricot, and there's a code up the top that says FLWA4. I don't know if that makes sense to anybody, but there you go. This is the shade Apricot. I like this for an everyday look as a corrector. I've got very, very, very bad dark under eye circles naturally. It's just hereditary. I can't stop it. They've just always been dark. So peach is a really, really good color to correct, or apricot I should say, is a very, very good color to correct darkness underneath the eyes or at least neutralize it a little bit. I really like this for every day. I wouldn't recommend it if you want to look flawless all the time, but it is thin and it does the job. I really like it. It's quick to apply. It's easy to blend out. It does provide a little bit of coverage, but not too much. I really like it for what it does. And I don't think it's all that badly priced either. I think it's about 18 US dollars on Beautylish. And I've been using my Beauty Blender. I've been just applying it underneath my eyes and tapping it out. And then going in over the top with the Maybelline Master Conceal by Face Studio Camouflaging Concealer. I use the shades 20 and 30, just depending on if I want a bright under eye or not. But yeah, I really like this concealer as well. I think it's so bomb. I'm wearing it today. I really like this. The consistency is really good. It covers really well. It performs just as good as some of my high-end concealers. I really, really enjoy it. So after I applied the Makeup Atelier, I blend it out with my Beauty Blender. Then I apply this just underneath my eyes. I just pat it on and then I dab it out with the Beauty Blender. I really like it. And I definitely must say the Beauty Blender has been a recent favorite of mine as well. So I did go to the Sephora Broadway opening. I don't know when my haul for that's gonna go up, but hopefully soon but I did pick up the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops. So I picked up the shade Sunlight, which is gorgeous. I am wearing it today with Becca Moonstone over the top. I picked up Sunset, which is like a liquid bronzer. Really love that one. And I also picked up Celestial, which is this one here. This is a very, very intense highlight. I love all three of those. If you're on the fence about purchasing at least one of them, I would highly recommend it. Seriously, they are so incredibly bomb. So yeah, if you're on the fence about buying these Custom Enhancer Drops, seriously, you need to give it a go. Like, you just need to give it a go. They're totally worth it. They last all day and all night. For bronzer, I've been having a little bit of a combo. So I love using the Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel as a bronzing base. If I'm not using the Sunset Liquid Bronzer, then I've been using the Soleil Tan de Chanel, which is not a new favorite of mine at all, but I do love it. You can tell I've made a major dent in it. And then over the top, I will use the Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion. I have mine in shade 20M, and this is what it looked like on the inside. You can tell that I've used it a lot. I am wearing it today, this combo. I really, really enjoy it. And then to cream contour, I've been loving the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Cafe. It is seriously the most perfect tone for my tan. Like, this is it here, if you can see. Like, it's nothing too dark, but I love it so much. And it blends out so easily as well. I don't know. I just love the color of it so much. For nail polish, I have been obsessed with the Essie Eternal Optimist, I think it's called. I uploaded a photo to my Instagram. I'll insert it somewhere here so you can see what it looks like on the nails. But I'm obsessed with this color. It's gorgeous. Okay, so this product here is the Antipodes Translucent Powder. It's called their Performance Plus Skin Brightening Mineral Finishing Powder. Such a long name. But this powder, oh my god. If you love to have dewy skin, but you still need to mattify your skin at the same time, this is amazing. Like, this is so good. This is probably one... Sorry, my camera cut out, but it is gorgeous. It's got a similar finish to the skin as the ambient lighting powders do, but without the massive price tag. It's Antipodes, so you can get it at, like, Priceline and stuff. It's quite affordable. Well, affordable. It's still kind of up there in price, but it's still decently priced. And yeah. I just love it. I did use it in my dewy skin video. I'll link that down below if you want to see how it looks on the skin. For lips, I've been loving two velveteens from Lime Crime. The first one is Cupid. I'm wearing a mixture of these on my lips today. And the other one is Cashmere. I love these both so much. Like these are my go-to shades. I love them and there's nothing else more I can say. <laughs> Okay guys, so that concludes the end of my monthly favorites for this month or the last two months, depending on how you look at it. But yeah, I've been loving all these products so much and it's definitely motivated me to just 
experiment with more new products like I buy new products all the time but I never experiment why I don't know but anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this video definitely follow me on snapchat instagram and twitter I'm just the happy Laura on all those three and on instagram I'm actually doing a sneaky giveaway as well so definitely follow me on there and yeah I don't really feel like there's anything else for me to say so thank you so much for sticking out to the end I really really appreciate it I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I will see you next time